25th, the latest prospects of a meeting between President Park and Japan Shinzo Abe. And though both have been in office for a while, they've yet to meet one on one. And according to Seoul's top diplomat, the prospects for the South Korea Japan summit remains cloudy, and the sun will shine again only if and when Tokyo acts with a sincerity. Our Hwang Sung Yi tells us more. The forecast for a summit between President Park Geun-hye and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe this year is cloudy. In an interview with Korean radio station CBS on Wednesday, Foreign Minister Yoon Byung-se said a show of Japanese sincerity over historical issues remains a precondition to summit talks. He added that resolving the urgent issue of Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women would be a good place to start. Yoon said measures that can be accepted by the 55 former sex slaves still alive and the international community would be regarded as measures of sincerity. His remarks follow a string of meetings between the two countries this month. Yoon held private talks with Japanese ambassador to Korea, Kuro Betsho, for the first time, while President Park welcomed former Japanese Prime Minister Yoshiro Mori, who brought a personal letter from Abe. The vice foreign ministers from Korea and Japan met in Tokyo Wednesday for their first strategic dialogue since President Park took office in February of 2013. The frequent diplomatic exchanges raised speculation that the two neighbors were preparing for what would be the first summit between their leaders, with November's APEC summit in Beijing as the likely stage. But President Park remains adamant she will not meet with Abe until he apologizes for Tokyo's wartime atrocities. As the two sides remain wide apart on the comfort women issue, the Korean foreign minister said it will likely be some time before the sun shines again. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.